Okay, uh, fine. This lab is uh, for the integration of Microsoft Active Directory, uh, eyes with Microsoft Active Directory. So, all you have to do is you have to go to administration, identity management, and external identity stores. Now, I have already configured this, so just have a look how you do this. Uh, after coming to this page, you go to Active Directory. Okay. Now, once you go to Active Directory, what you need to do is basically you need to click on uh, you need to click on Active Directory, and then you need to give on when it will be asked. You have to give your domain name, and you need to give your identity store. This this is just a name, but this is your domain name. This is important. Okay. Once you do this, save the configuration, you will reach this particular page. Once you reach this particular page, you select your device and click on join. After clicking on join, you will be asked to present your username and password like this. Now here you have to give your username and password of your active directory. Okay. Once you are done with this, you would get output something like this. Okay, once once you see that it is connected, what you do is you select this and test your connection. You, you can perform a basic test here or you can go for a detailed one. Basic would be enough. You can perform a basic test. Give the login of your uh, administ uh, Windows a Active Directory. Okay. If you want to go for a detailed test, you can select this and click on detailed test. Yes. And log in using the credential. Sorry. This is a detailed test within your device ok so <coughs> that's a detail as you can go through those okay. <coughs> next thing what you need to do is uh, <coughs> advanced settings this is what you have to make under advanced settings, leave it as it is. Under groups, yes. You go to groups, click, select this, select group from directory, your domain name and leave it as star and click on, okay. Once you get this, you select all the groups what I have selected here, admin, guest, users built-in users uh, then you can select domain admin domain computer controller guest users uh, these are custom groups what i have created eyes admin contractor employee okay and finally you can click on okay you will see these gets added here okay uh, the one, one more thing what you can do is you can get bring the attributes from eyes you can click on this you can say select attribute from directory uh, you can give a uh, username of any host available on active directory i have one host available on active directory with the name as employee one i'll show you that i'll use this name and let's bring all the attributes related to this particular name so i'll give the name here and it will bring all the attributes related to that name And you can use even these attribute values to con uh, control. Uh, you can use these in the policy. So you can use this given name, name, number of common name.
Okay, you, you can you can select all these. You can select all these uh, values what I've selected, and finally what you can do is you can click on it. Okay. Once you have done this, uh, basically you can go and edit something known as identity source sequence. <coughs> something like this. This I have created. Uh, and you can have a look. At this this will be the name. Uh, there's a description what I have given. I am using AD1 followed by internal users. And finally I have selected this option. And finally click on save. Okay. Once saved, I'm going to make use of this source sequence, global source sequence, uh, and authorization policies. So, mm, sorry, not an authorization, an authentication policies. <coughs> so, basically, you come here, come to this page, and click on edit, uh, and change the source sequence here. Generally, you would find it as this. When initially you will come, it will be like this. Okay. But what we have to do is we have to edit this rule and click on edit and change this to. If you select this, it will look only in Active Directory. So I am selecting this source sequence and click on. Then next, what I do is. I'm going to go and create <coughs> authorization which I do here authorization and I added these two rules so if the users are in active directory they will get authenticated here if the users are in the internal database they will get authenticated here these are the previous rules and these are two new rules what i have created okay so for this uh, let's say if you want to create for corporate i'll show you example for corporate insert new rule below and say for Can say if select attribute if it's active directory one and the external group now now what do you see these these things these extra attributes what do you see this one this one this one this one these are the one what we had selected you see so you can click on here uh, you can say it's a member ad it's a member of and you can give the group name here member of maybe guys i don't know if we have let's see Or you can do it this way. Then users this will be of I segments.
Let's go for it. I will see. Okay, so finally what you can do is you can <coughs> you can do is you can go to active directory and create one admin user here um, and add it to this particular group so I'll just add one user here new user And this user, I'm going to add this group. So this user is added to this particular group. It's a member of I segments group. Okay. So what do you do next is you just go to your client. Dot one X begins. And you get authenticated. If you go back to eyes, that's how you get authenticated. Okay, and if you check, this user got was authentic authenticated from external database, which is Microsoft Active Directory. And if you stay on. You see this? Okay, so that's what it was. And if you check here, the external source was AD1. Okay. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you here that how do you integrate uh, ICE with Active Directory for external uh, as an external uh, user database. Okay. okay. That, that's it for uh, this video. We'll continue with the wireless A2.1x in the next part.